another quick tip for you today. Um, last, my last quick tip, I talked about uh, razor blades and how to re replace them with the uh, with, with these. And anyway, today I'm going to show how you can kind of get some more use out of them before you replace them. This one you can kind of see it's been used. It's kind of dull and it's a little bit dull. It's got, it's kind of sharp, but it's, it could be sharpened up a little bit. And what I've done is I take, I have a piece of leather, kind of like this, just a regular piece of leather. And it, of course, each piece of leather has a, a smooth side and a rough side. And I use the rough side for this. It's called stropping. And basically, I have a some rubbing compound polishing compound, which this is called chromium oxide. It's green, and I picked this little stick up. It's a, a set of five or six different ki uh, kind of compounds that uh, use for sharpening and buffing and polishing and that type of thing. And all I do is, uh, as you can kind of see, I just take this and rub this on the leather just to give it a little bit of a, you know, some, something to rub onto the metal. And then you take your knife and with it still in the holder, you can do it with, without the holder, but you just hold it and just rub it away from you this way where the blade is going away from you, pointing away from you that way. And then you can turn it over and do it, pulling it towards you this way. And doing it this way, it really doesn't matter the angle that you hold it at. And you just want to make sure that when you do this, you do it the same number of times in each direction. And that will help to preserve the edge and, and to hone the edge down a little bit. And it makes it a lot sharper. It, it really does feel a lot sharper. And this is called stropping. Now, if you have a blade that's really bad, you need to sharpen it first, and you would need a stone, or I use my emery board for that. And what you can do is you can take this and just, this is where it gets critical. You wanna make sure that the angle of the blade is the same as the angle, that you're holding it on. You don't want to have it way up like this when you're sharpening. And so the best way to do it is to take it out of the holder. And I put my finger on it like this and hold it down as I'm pulling across. That way it makes sure that the blade is nice and flat on the surface. And again, you always want to pull away away from the the blade. the The dull side should get pulled in front, like that. And that will sharpen up the blade. Then what I do is I follow that up with my leather stropping. And just pull that a few times across. Just got to be be careful. Don't cut yourself. Be smart. And that will make it nice and sharp. Like that. It's a good idea if you can to leave it in the holder. You can also use like, like these ones here. And just pull towards you and turn it over, pull it towards you. Like that. All you need to do is just take a piece of, of leather. I've got this piece here. You can leave it flat. You can also use it on like chisels. I have these wood chisels that I use 
from time to time. And you just, you don't have to have the compound. The compound makes it just that much better. And what I like to do is put it on, like this is a piece of cork, put it, you know, up on a piece of cork. You can glue it down to the cork if you want. That way it gives you a little bit of extra room on the side to, to be able to hold for the, for the uh, handle and whatnot. But it's not necessary. And that will make that nice and sharp. Again, put some polishing compound on it. Grab another one. Makes it nice and sharp. Just a little tip. And like I say, if it gets real sharp or real dull, you can also take sandpaper. I have this block here with of sandpaper. I think this is a 220 grit or 120 grit. I don't remember. And you can use that to for sharpening. And if you sharpen it on the sandpaper, you always want to make sure that you follow it up with with the stropping to help polish it up a little bit and get rid of the the edges and stuff that are created by the sandpaper. your blade a little bit last a little bit longer so anyway that's my quick tip for today uh, yeah i know it's a little bit longer than normal but this is only my second one so <laughs> anyway um hope that helps let me know what you think and of course have a better day as i always say